Hi, my name is Corey Morrow from Forest River Impression. Today we're going to take a look at the 290 VB. Come on in and check it out. On this family fr friendly floor plan, we have a very universal bunk room back here. Lots of sleeping area for the kids. You have two overhead bunks that hinge up out of the way. And then below we have a large sleeper sofa for, so maybe this weekend uh, you don't have the kids come, but maybe another adult couple, this can be used as a second bedroom. Here in the main living room, we have a queen size sleeper sofa with memory foam. On the door side, we have an entertainment center with your TV, sound bar, 5,000 BTU furnace that can actually heat the entire coach. And then one of the most unique things that we do on this floor plan is a large walk-in pantry with the motion light. So lots of additional storage in the kitchen area. The Furion 10 cubic foot 12 volt refrigerator, microwave, cooktop with oven, large single bowl sink, and then over here as the dinette, we have the standard freestanding dinette with storage underneath the seats, and we can option in a straight booth dinette if that's your preference. And next to the freestanding dinette, we have a built-in coat rack. Come on upstairs, let's check it out. Full walk-in shower. Underneath our shower pans, we put a 5 8 inch marine grade plywood base so you don't feel any flex. It's nice and solid even around the P-trap. And even myself at 6'2 has plenty of headroom. So here we're in the master bedroom. You'll notice on this, we chose to use the space saver frame, which moves the step up way forward underneath the nightstand. So you're getting a full walk around queen bed. The queen bed is a 60 by 80, so it takes standard residential sheets hanging wardrobe on both sides with the additional baskets, large front windshield with a blackout shade that tapers to block out all of the light, gas strut assisted bed lift with plywood bed bases and the bed base being nice and finished off for additional storage. On the front here, we have a large closet that can either be used for additional storage, hanging, and it's also prepped for a stackable washer and dryer. So your hot, your cold, and your drain are already in there for you. So now we're on the outside of the 290 VB. One of the things I would like to point out out here is the Goodyear Endurance tire. That's the highest grade tire available in the RV industry today, made right here in the United States has a six year warranty, 87 mile per hour speed rating, even a custom tread pattern designed for RV towing to dissipate heat quicker, okay? We also have our outside kitchen with our griddle, and then also a fully heated enclosed underbelly where we use four by eight sheet panels instead of one solid enclosure. That's easier for um, accessing the underbelly in case you had a problem with the front tank service department can drop just that section, put, fix it and put it right back up. The other thing that we do different is your underbelly is heated with forced air. So there's a vent tube dedicated off the furnace. So you know with confidence, anytime that furnace is running, it's blowing hot air into your underbelly. Then we go one step further. We put 12 volt heat blankets on all the tanks. So your black, your gray, your fresh, all have a built-in heat blanket or a heat blanket with a built-in thermostat, so it automatically turns on and off for you. Also standard on the impression is the four-point auto level. So it's just like it sounds, you push a button, it's gonna automatically level for you, and it also has hitch pin memory, so it remembers the last time that you unhooked from the tow vehicle and goes back to that spot to take all the guesswork out for you. So an added benefit of that space saver frame that I was telling you about that we use is the additional steel structure in this upper deck makes it to where we can interchange the pin boxes. So this has the standard 16,000 GBW hitch pin on it, but let's say a customer would like that Moride rubberized pin box for anti-chucking. You can switch that out and bolt it up. 
The other nice advantage that we do is a gel coated front cap. The reason why we chose to go with gel coat without the gel coat, the problem that arises is that the last 18 to 24 inches where it transitions from the cap to the roof line, you'll get chalking and fading over time. With the gel coat, it's more like a boat finish. So that's going to protect your investment for years to come. I want to thank everybody today for going through the 290 VB for, with us. For additional photos, videos, please visit our website at forestriverinc.com slash impression.